Hello, hello, this is Umberto and this is the HVAC to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about introduction to multi-zone 3, which is going to be an introduction for uh, two systems. So let's get into it. So the first step in order to do two systems is to make sure your multi-zone tree is correct because at times there is always the potential threat of a glitch right so number one always save your work so i'm gonna click in here save 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 see okay so now let's go to the multi-zone tree which is right here so this icon represents the multi-zone tree as you can see multi-zone that that's the multi-zone and also the shortcut is Control m so whenever i go there you're gonna show this part see this is the multi-zone tree so the most important part and the interesting part in here is these room names have to match up whatever is on the plan okay so for example in this case is not matching for some reason so i would say there has some uh, system error so we need to fix that before making any other progress or before creating another system when i'm talking about systems i mean how many units are you gonna be are you gonna have in your house for example if you have a big house it would be more preferable to have two systems for example unit one unit two unit one is going to be saving the basement and the first floor and unit two the second floor for example right so that's when i talk about two systems or sometimes people call it two zones. So in this case, the multi-zone tree is gonna show you that you only have one system for the whole house, see? You don't have any zones, you don't have any systems, okay? Okay, but before creating a zone or a system, you need to make sure that this is correct. So for example, in this case, what happens is, Look at this, in here it says bed number one, right? So this bed number one, in here it says bedroom number one, and then below that we have bedroom two, it says bed two. Bedroom three, in here it says bed three. So it's not correlated. So in this case, what we're gonna do is, let's change the name of this. So what happens if I put bedroom, bedroom number one, say number 11 this automatically should change to that. Let's go, press enter. So this is not changing at all. So this is gonna create confusion. See, bedroom 11, bedroom two, bedroom two or bed two. So this is not looking good, okay? So what's going on also in the worksheet? So if we go, let's look at the worksheet and if it, and we're gonna find out if it's showing bedroom 11 or bedroom one. Let's go check in here, worksheet. Let's go bedroom one. It's showing us a bedroom one. It's showing like this. So technically this bedroom 11, whatever change I make in here is not being reflected in here in the multi-zone tree or on the worksheet. So this is not good for consistency purposes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make another test. Okay, we're gonna change this bedroom one to bed one. So we're gonna click here and rename and then delete the room. So now it's bed one. This should automatically change. Number one is not changing, see? Wait a minute. So let's go here, rename and then bedroom number one, bed one. See, I'm changing it to bed one. This is not changing, but we're gonna see in the worksheet. What's going on with the worksheet? Bedroom number, let's go check bed one so it's changing so the multi-zone tree and the worksheet are connected so the worksheet in here right draw is not connected it's not good so that's going to be an issue in the future in order to in order to solve that in order to have everyone matching and everyone consistent is we're going to rely on our, uh, our previous video our previous video was to in order to solve this glitch you remember we need to create a catalog, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open a new file and we're gonna export this floor plan because remember, we don't want to create again, uh, we don't wanna draw again all the rooms and then all the properties, it's just a hassle. So as everyone says, work is smarter, not harder, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do again, we're gonna select this as we did in the previous video. We're gonna go group it and then go down here again. And then, 
Okay, let's make another test, by the way. What if the second level is not having that glitch? So what we're gonna do is gonna go to the multi-zone three, workspace. Where's the workspace in here? There's no workspace in here, actually. See? This is totally not connected. Master bedroom in here, master bedroom. What if I change it to master bed? So if I change it to master bed, in here it says master bedroom still. Let's close it, let's open it. Master bedroom, see, master bedroom, master bed, and then in here, master bedroom, see, it's not connected. So it's totally not good. So what we're gonna do is, again, let's go and export this into a new clean file. So what we're gonna do is resort to my previous video and then just copy paste, right? Okay, so let's go here, let's go here. So now we have this whole thing. Okay, so control C, control paste, see? What I did is copy, paste room number one okay so in here we're going to put a livingston residence transfer we need to save this file and give it a name let's put it as living livingston's residence uh transfer doc 2 okay so we put it save okay and then we can change the name remove uh copy remove view copy no it doesn't say anything about that catalog okay let's just leave it like that Wait a minute, let's just put in here, first floor, see, first floor. And then we're gonna do the same for the second level. Let's go here and then control C, Cont uh, paste. But what if I do control V? No, it doesn't do the same. So control C, right click, paste. And then I'm gonna call this second floor, second floor. Okay, and then saved. So now this is saved and I could get rid of this file actually, right? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna close this. Okay, okay, refresh. And I'm gonna open again, right suit, universal, right? I'm opening a new file, okay? This is completely clean from scratch, okay? There we go, totally, completely clean, clean file. Now I'm going to retrieve my floor plans. So what I'm gonna do is in here in the new catalog, right click, catalog, open, and it's gonna take me directly to the, to the file that I saved before. See, Livingstone Residence Transfer Doc 2, okay? Click in there, open, and you have in here in the catalog bar what I saved. So let's go for the first floor, drag it, Perfect, see, I'm, I'm dragging it. Let's leave it there. I'm going to create a second sheet. Add sheet, edit sheet, what is it, delete sheet, edit sheet, add sheet, okay? So this is gonna be the second floor. <coughs> and in the second floor, I'm gonna put nine feet. And then this is gonna be changing to edit sheet. This is gonna be called first floor. First floor, elevation zero, see, ground level. Okay, let's go to the second floor. On the second floor, I'm going to drag this second floor. There we go. And now I'm going to line up both. See, I'm gonna line up both. So I'm gonna go here, line it up. There we go, we're all good. And I'm gonna gra gra drag this to below, okay? All right, so what we did is we transferred my floor plan and all the properties to a new document, new clean document. So why, what is the reason for that? Because we're trying to avoid glitches, right? Because at the end, imagine you did all your work and then you are done with your work and then at the end it doesn't print or it prints incorrectly. So we wanna be clean all the way, right? Okay, so in here, now what we can do is, we're gonna verify if this is looking good. Okay, let's verify that. So I'm gonna put the multi-zone tree, and the multi-zone tree is on the other screen right here. There we go, multi-zone tree. It's better if you enlarge it like this. Okay, now in here it says bedroom 11. In here it says bedroom 11, see? Plus, if I do click, there we go. Plus, if I click in here, see, it shows me it selects which room it is. So now it's looking better, see? 
Okay, now let's make a change. Instead of bed two, we're gonna put in here bedroom 11. Instead of bedroom 11, I'm gonna change it to rename bed bed one, right? Let's go put, uh, sorry, bed one. There we go. Perfect. So now it's all consistent. So if I put bed 11 and I'm gonna go to my worksheet, in my worksheet, it says bed one, bed one. And also in my right draw, it's gonna say bed one right okay so in here it says living room bedroom two we're gonna make another test let's go to the second floor workspace laundry master bed uh media rec Inst instead of media rec what we're gonna put is media rec room okay media rec room uh let's change it from here how about that all right so we're gonna change the naming here let's close this media rec room there we go it has to change this automatically there we go it changed it, it automatically media slash rec room and then i'm gonna go to my um worksheet media rec room also this multi-zone tree is very interesting to find my room for example if i want to see the properties or anything from the kitchen and dining i go here automatically it changes i have all the information of my kitchen and dining for example if i want to go to bedroom number two hey what's going on with bedroom number two the heat load did we put the internal loads okay let's double check bedroom two bed two and i'm gonna go here internal loads oh we put 230 which is one occupant see you are able to see this is a very good use of the multi-zone tree okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and remember don't worry about the glitches glitches are always there no matter what the program is bluebeam Revit, autocad so it's it's better to have the tools to tackle the to tackle the glitches rather than doing it at the end and remember sometimes when there's glitches it's better just to close it and then even to restart your computer and then sometimes that solves the problem but uh, most importantly remember to save your work always see this is a very important key piece all right so in the next video uh, because a lot of uh, my subscribers have been asking we're going to create two zones for example we're going to make one zone in here and then we're going to create one zone in here and we're going to explain the difference between what is one system and what is one zone because sometimes it gets confusing all right i'll see you in the, i'll see you in the next video like and subscribe thank you